Hi, I'm Susan. We're here at the Great Lakes Science Center standing in front of our harmonograph. This is an example of a compound pendulum. It consists of a table with a pad of paper on it that's suspended with cables on a frame. That allows the table to swing in many different directions. All of you know what a pendulum is. Anybody who's ever seen a grandfather clock has seen a pendulum going back and forth. This table can move in other directions. Besides back and forth, it can move up and down, and it can move in a twisting motion. If I move the table in a straight line back and forth, pen on the paper will trace a line back and forth, but as the table slows down, it makes a continually smaller design. Now if I come over here in front of the table and now pull the table back and forth, we've got an almost vertical line. It's twisting a little, so we've got a bit of an oval. And the other form of motion that this table will, can do because it's suspended is twisting or torsional. And that will make an, an oval shape, which is, will, again, will become increasingly smaller as the table slows down. The main force that's working on this at the moment is friction. There's friction between the pen and the paper, and there's friction between the platform itself and the air around it. So it won't move like this forever. It'll slow down. A third kind of movement happens if we just twist the table. You might also notice that the movement is faster. That's because a twisting motion has a different rate to it. Now, the table will not move forever because we've got the friction between the pen and the paper and we've got friction between the platform and the air around it. There's also a weight on, underneath the table that allows the movement to be made smoother and a little bit more predictable. When you come back to the Science Center, in addition to the harmonograph, there are other kinds of pendulum forces that you can see. We have our chaotic pe pendulum, which is a, really a compound pendulum. When you swing that, it's, it moves all over the place. We've got the gravity well, and we've got the, the wave umbrella. All of these show different kinds of pendulum motion. Please come to the Science Center. You'll have a great time.